Hi, it's Hazy, and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a, comparing two different types of media. Um, a different, you know, because obviously this didn't work out as I wanted it to. <laughs> you will see. <laughs> you will see all the trouble. So I'll make all the mistakes so you don't have to, basically, on there. And uh, I've done it on a book page. I think the watercolour would look great on a book page, actually, but this isn't watercolour. That's gouache. Okay, so let's find out today about all my mistakes and how I rectify them <laughs> on the second one. Anyway, the first one went very well. The second one, uh, yeah, I don't know what I did. I don't know what's happened, but uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll do that bit. I'm going to do that bit on fast so you can see. <laughs> Picture I haven't got any music. <laughs> you know, there's this... Um, comedy music or something a bit of comedy music for how um wrong i do get it okay then but i did can see at the end it's worked out perfectly okay let's see then and how it goes thank you right then so i've got this page right so got, what we're going to do then we're going to do some uh, rubber stamp painting i've got this from suzanne hutchison She's doing a distache, so I'm going to put that there in the corner and do some watercolours directly onto this paper, which is, let's have a look at the feel of that paper, I think it's only 80, it's only 80 GSM, so I'm going to try not to get it too wet. Right, so I've got some <laughs> card to put underneath here, just to make sure I don't go, um, see if I can print it properly, okay, I've just had a cup of coffee, so... And gulped it down naughtily. Like, oh, look, we don't do that, do we? We do it like this. We do it professionally like this. Like they do, like they're doing the professional videos. We go like this, don't they? And then you get to all the... She must have cleaned us. I did not use this stamp or cleaned it really well, though. It's beautiful, isn't it? We have a bit of a make sure we cover everything. Uh -huh, like that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's... I know it's probably not the ideal thing to do, but it's the quickest. Right, so now I'm going to try and pull that on. Hopefully I'll get it fairly straight because I want it fairly straight. So I'm looking for gaps between there and there on the wooden bit. Right, is that right? Ooh, that looks about right. Let's have a look. If this isn't right, <laughs> if this isn't right, I'm going to complain. I don't know, not to Suzanne, of course. Oh, yes, it's done it. Yeah, well, it's done it okay, even though it didn't do that. But we can paint that bit in, actually. <laughs> We're not bothered about that, are we? Right, it's watercolours, this one. I'm going to do two. I'm going to try the gouache me method and also this one. So I'm going to paint this one in watercolours and the other one in gouache. Or gouache, gouache. My friend used to call it gouache. I always thought it was gouache. <laughs> Ever call me water dog? So I've got the, uh, found the water, it's in the kitchen. There we go. Oh, that's a bit of a stiff. Now this brush, is it tiny? Oh, it's a two. So I'm going to use a tiny brush. What do we want to paint first? Should we paint the rose first? Is that going to be interesting? Or should we paint the edges? Um, I might paint some of it actually yellow behind. A bit of it. It's like a stained glass window, isn't it? So there we go, lock stain, glass window. Do the opposite corner. Change it slightly, I'm gonna add a bit of orange. I'm not even I'm not even using the water. I'm not don't forget I'm not doing a proper watercolour thing. Actually it's not, it's yellow it's yellow oak and not uh, it's not lemon yellow in there. I'm not trying to make it too wet. Although you could do a wash, couldn't you really? You could do an actual wash. So my trousers, all my trousers, look leg a bit better, that's better. That's what I was trying to do. Right. Of all things, there we go, there's your, this is more lemon yellow now, adding lemon yellow. And hopefully it won't come through. Okay. Let's add a bit of green, a little tiny bit of green in there. It's got green behind as well. I'm going to use the other sort of green for the... Right, so that's more like the 
apple green, I suppose. I'm going to use the, the uh, more bluey green green. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that bluey green one, can't you? Look, I'm using that one. That's the lighter apple green there. Right then, so I'm going to do this now. So what I'm going to do is just paint it. Ooh. Yes, you can get shadings and things like that, which I'll hopefully be able to demonstrate. This is a very flat design though, isn't it? So it might not... I don't know, would you be able to do... I'll have to see. So I've got the uh, other one drying because I'm going to do it on... Um, a junk, junk, a junk journal, yeah. Guess what I'm doing it on junk journal pages like I'm this one. But there is a difference, I'll show you in a minute. And that's hidden the... Because it's so thick, it's hidden the... Um, colours behind. I'll just put a bit more water on there, just to... So you can see the black. There we go. Again, with watercolours, I would say you only need four, four or five colours. But because um, I've got a set, I've got a set that's really cheap. Oh, look at that! Oh, should I just paint a bit behind now? Let's have some different colours. Let's do it in a. Uh, let's add a bit of blue. Right, very, very tiny. We can actually test it to make sure it's the colour you want. But I haven't done that so far. Need a bit of extra paper somewhere. Just to test your colours. But I'm just going for it. <laughs> so you can do that as well. Okay. Oh. So what shall we have those corners? Let's have a pinky for the corner. We might do a pinky rose as well. So that will bring that into play, won't it? Really. Add a bit more water because that's very thick. Try and lift that. Um... That's blue. What can we add to the blue? Let's add a bit of purple. So basically rainbow, isn't it? Uh, that'll be there, won't it? Are we doing that blue? There we go. Obviously you can have any rubber stamp you like. I've got different ones. I don't know where they are. As I said, I was going to do this the other week, but I don't know where the, the rubber stamps are. Right, so we're doing a bit of blue. No corresponding one over there, there's not enough. And a bit, let's add a bit of red, see what happens now. Make it horrible. Red and blue don't always make a put that next to that sort of purpley colour. Let's just add that to there. Yeah, there we go, that'll do, won't it? So now we can paint the rose. Right, so I'm going to have that colour, as I said. That sort of, let's have a lot of water on it. Yeah. Right, you can leave gaps as well, you can leave spaces to, to for the light. Look, I've painted that green. Oh no, I think it might be behind because I've got green on me. So I'm just painting where the... the colour. Oh, that's too thick. Should test it, no. Test it, test it. <laughs> Should test it, but I didn't. Just cover that over like that. There you go, and that's got a bit of green on it because of the paper behind. Okay, so let's come along now. Let's do a bit of shading. And I'm going to put a little bit more edging along there. Just a just little, uh, if you can see that, I don't know if I can bring that thing any closer. Can you see? Right, it's going to bring it a bit closer. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, what I've just done there. A little tiny, because I've got a tiny brush. I've made little tiny little marks along there. That's what I'm doing there, look. So it breaks up the edge. Okay, like that. But I've left that as a light bit. Okay. Right, let's get. Um, we can add black. I think black would be. I don't know. Let's not add black. Let's add. Let's add a purple. So I've got that. Oh, I'll be able to show you now because I can bring it down. I'm using this colour, but I'm going to add a darker colour like purple. Look. Now I do need to test it, so I'm going to bring this in. Whatever this is, and just test it. Yeah, I'll just add a bit of water because it's very thin. Very thick. Sorry, thick. Right, and then you would go along the edges. The rubber stamp sort of shows you where to come along and be dark to make it more 3D. Okay, it does look quite a flat design though, doesn't it? You can see what I'm doing. I'm adding, so I'm put, putting just an extra colour in, just a darker version. Okay. I don't think we'll be able to see this in the gouache one. I'm going to. That's going to be fun, isn't it? Let's see how we cope with that. <laughs> Make a bit of extra in the middle there, yeah. 
right for the leaves obviously we don't want to have them flat either so what I'm going to do is just oh look at that that's very oh dear I don't like that. lift that up a bit it's still wet so I can do that I think you can anyway actually on the watercolors right so I've lifted that up so it's now a bit lighter okay and I was going to I was going to add a little black to that but I'll do that later I was thinking what um, I could add highlights as well I'll have to do that I've got some of that that's actually the white um, premium white watercolor this is what I got with it it came with this because you don't get a white but I got my I haven't even got my pliers here have I can't open my drawer anymore it's so it's how heavy of it's dropped uh, I think it must be upstairs oh it's actually I've done it and I'm going to say I was going to cheat used a gouache which is probably similar actually right so I've got a bit of that white out now that goes there right um That's me trying to look what I'm thinking. I'll also with a big arm. Right, um, so let's do the dark first. So I'm going to add this, and that's going to be very thick. Add a bit of that green, and then what colour? I could add purple as well. That would make it a slightly different green, wouldn't it? A darker. Yeah, look, that makes it a darker. Yeah, don't be afraid. It makes it like a greyish purple, which will help. So I'm going to put, I should put the colour along. I'm just going to put one along one side, look like that, and decide where to put. It. I don't think it matters. It's not a painting; it's just like a design, isn't it? I'm going to do the same along there, that side. Uh, get a bit more paint on if I can with a little bit of that. You don't need much. See, you don't need much at all. Right, there we go. The dog's under. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? <laughs> oh yeah. Right, so it's already got black along the edges, but there we go. That's so that's made that a nice three D ish colour, three D ish thing right now. Highlights. I can might put a bit on the rose as well because that's very. Right, we might need to water that down because it's very thick compared with. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that does all right on there. Right, so break up the line. Don't do a full line. Well, you can. If you know how to do it, but I'm just thinking you might do better going along like that. Same as I did on the breaking up the lines, as I showed you a minute ago. All right. Ooh, look at that, Benny. Look at that. That's getting a bit of a ooh, getting a bit of a 3D look, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Right. Um. Uh, like that and I'm going to do is put some on the rose in there. I can't wait. To, I don't know where though, that's what I'm thinking. I'm probably thinking as I'm doing this. I'm not putting it all along if you notice, just along the edge because it's already coloured in. Oops. Just dotting now actually, just doing some dots and I think it's working fine. Yeah, well, no, wrong way. I'm doing that now so the other bit. <laughs> I suppose you could, I suppose it could catch the sun in some places, couldn't it? There you go. I'm doing it. Oh yeah, you can do it down there. Look, what's the matter? Is it Grandad? It's only Grandad, I bet. As in my husband, <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> grand. Yeah, he's we're the grandparents to the dog. So I'm nanny. He's Grandad. Yeah, so I can add a bit more on that. Oh yeah, I could, yeah. Look, I can put a bit of white on that where that green is. And um, again, little tiny bits where the petal might be the highest, the highest point like that. I don't think I need to put any more just along there, look, yeah. Just along that bit there, look, where the, where it comes out of the shadow and into the light. Yeah, yeah, but... Right, there we go. There you go, I'm a painter look, I'm an artist. <laughs> yeah, so that's easy. Rubber stamp flower. Brilliant. Okay, now I'm going to show you the gouache version and hopefully in a minute. If it's dry, let's see if it's dry. Well, it might be dry enough in that part actually, so yeah. See if we can do the same thing to this. Okay. 
sorry to surprise you with me back to this I'm just going to put a little really really dark under here because it looks it looks really odd so I'm just going to add a little bit of darkness under there perhaps the purple on its own that's better isn't it and I'm gonna, that brings out hopefully brings out the leaves as well and again that's hopefully that's it now right, so this is a page you can see it's got it's got writing on it so it's basically junk mail in a journal look junk mail in a journal <laughs> um we're hoping it's going to work okay i've got me pad in and then there's a rubber stamp over there. same rubber stamp let's see how we do oh has it got glitter on it where's it glitter from i might want susanna i'd be fine i don't know would it i've suddenly got glitter saying so i'm suddenly glittery Right, let's do it by a professional way, look, patting it, look, and all that. I don't know we're supposed to pat it, I usually do it like that, but no, I've seen it on I've seen it on YouTube, it's like this. <laughs> it's not like that really, but you're supposed to pat it, otherwise you ruin things, won't you? Right, let's try and get this in the shot. Where are we? Oh, it's here. Where are they? I'm, I'm trying to think I was thinking that was it. Right, okay, about the same then, about the same distance either from there and there again. Let's see if I can do it. Probably not. If it's gonna be skew if it's going to be skew with. I thought I'd put gesso on here because obviously it'll grip it and also <laughs> let's see how it does. I'm going to make sure we're down and we've got all our little black marks everywhere where it should be. Oh dear, it's stuck to the page. Oh no, that's no good. Oh dear. That didn't work, did it? I thought it would work on gesso. Hmm, that's no good. Right, oh dear. It's this bit, isn't it? So here I am again trying this out. It did not work, and I tried to do it exactly on note. It still didn't work. So, what do I do next? Yeah, it, I don't know whether something's happened. So I think I wash the rubber stamp several times, and then try it on this piece of paper. It's flatly, and still it doesn't work. <laughs> Something's wrong, either wrong with the middle or it, I don't know, I still haven't found out. I'm going to try in a minute and see if I can do it actually as I would have done that. That's another one. And then after this, I found, I found a printed on some rude wood. Right, do to a rude word. <laughs> I'm going to start again. Okay, but it's not my fault, it's in the dictionary. I was painting away and I thought, oh no, there's a rude word there and I don't want to offend anybody. And I thought, it's not me, I did not write the dictionary. It's just to inform people of what it is. <laughs> right, then let me show you how to get this onto paper, even though I keep missing for some reason the middle. Right, let's have a look. So let's do it there. So I'm going to try and print it there. So you do it like this, look, put it upside down. Okay, and I think I'm going to rub very lightly because it really does come on really well. Okay, make sure it's all over because it wasn't last time. Uh -huh. Please be right. Oh, still not done it there. What is there? And it's just a leaf. Right, I'm gonna I'm just gonna paint that in. Yeah, you'll, you'll probably be able to do it a lot better than me. <laughs> but I'm gonna paint that bit in. Okay, so it's basically just ignore that. It's a leaf, which is the I think I've given up now. And that comes along here. Well, it's gone purple. <laughs> right, and then you want that. Right. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to put that dark actually because that's going to be coloured in. Right. And that's. Oh, the wash is going on now. Yeah, you know that. Um, Oh, that buzzing noise I kept hearing, and I kept thinking a bee was a living all through the winter. It wasn't. <laughs> I realised it's actually the wind coming through the 
through something because I can I realise and I thought, oh, and if it's the wind, I thought the other day, and it is because I've just listened to it and it's the wind. So, right, what I'm going to do is copy the colours of Cam. Have I put me water? What's that? <laughs> I say, not to either of them. <coughs> Right, so I'm going to put this on here now. This it might not be too opaque. I don't know. Let's get some of that orangey colour. Oh, now that's not orange, is that? I'm hoping there's no rude words on here. <laughs> oh dear. Good job I know French and. Right. So <clears throat> I'm talk like what I'll probably be saying that is to make them a little bit bigger as you go along these little stripes. So I'm just doing basically stripes and those dots and stripes, that's all it is. Dots and stripes in the little places. I have some dots and stripes on the leaves. <laughs> Let's do some dots and stripes on the leaves. Little dots. 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 Well, they won't end up with dot shape because it's a brush, <laughs> but they are dots. Dog snoring. There we go. Right. <laughs> I don't know what you think of that. Didn't turn out as I hoped because oh, all the stuff that's going on with it, rubber stamp. I'm hoping it's not the rubber stamp ruined and it's just the way it printed. But oh yeah, there we go. So I can now show you the differences. And there we go. That one is more opaque and that one is more watercolour, so probably more gentle. But you can still achieve the same thing using 
similar colours and different. I mean, I've, with the gouache, obviously, I've, I've made up the colours. With the watercolours, it, it's almost the same. I've just dipped my brush in. I don't rinse my brush very often because I've, for some reason I can do that. I don't know if it's a, it's a thing or it's just <laughs> that I don't do it. Anyway, what I could do, what you could do, actually, is, is go around with a black pen now if you've got one. Yeah, so I've got a gouache uh, marker. Gouache. It's not a gouache marker. It's a uniposca marker. I can go around. The edges where the... To make it more clear. Right, let's see what's going on. I know it's there, is it? Right, so this goes basically here. I've missed it out. Ah, oh, right, that goes there. There's a little bit there as well. Right. right, so that's the so I've gone along with one of those, and if you noticed, all I did was do lines, squiggly lines, and uh, that's basically it. Just to fill that in. I'm not doing this one because that one's fine. It would it would probably benefit a little bit from it, but I'm not doing this bit a lot. I'm not doing this. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna do a couple. <laughs> yeah, just doing. I'm just doing a couple of dots on it, lot. Like that. For example, that's all you can do. That's all you have to do. Dots. Dots. There you go. That's all I'm doing. Dots. So basically, as, as another YouTuber said the other day, I don't know who it was, but she also said that all you're doing is dots, lines and marks, basically. Dots, lines and marks, or stri tiny stripes, um, on your paper. <laughs> so I'm not the only one who says that. Right, so hopefully you will believe me and have a go. Okay, and it's all painting is, is painting it, and then, as I say, it's like graduation, thin, and then thicker, then thin again there. Same as that, I left that. Okay, so if you enjoy my content today, please give me a thumbs up. Please share my video, press notification bell with your crafty fingers, and please subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to get to the magic thousand subscribers. Yay, at the moment. Okay, then, and um, please join my Facebook group, Hazy Crazy Arts. I'll be putting this video on there as well, I think. And this will go out on Saturday morning. This afternoon, which is Friday, I've got to go and help my daughter put up her bed so she can move in. Okay, um, let's think what else I can say. I think that's it really, isn't it? Apart from, you know, I don't want to go, of course. So I will try and go now. Okay, and I think I'll have the last of it on this last bit on fast anyway, apart from the end. Okay then. And goodbye and take care.